we have a 3D sketches here I just draw it and as you see it's just closed curves now with the bar surfacing add-in I can easily create a surface from this 3D sketches uh, like exact same uh, edges it's gonna fit on this edges that I just modeled so I'm just gonna go to bar surfacing and from this menu here I'm gonna create planar surface okay now I'm gonna just leave it like this I mean like four edges only now I'm gonna get this planar surface and just like trying to fit it with the lines I just created like this and like this from here okay let's just move this a little at the side now this is a 3d sketch just gonna embroider the reference from here and I'm gonna select this four edges now just click apply now this four edges are constrained I'm gonna get now my face and put it back again and use the constraint tools this point here two vertex and this point here two vertex and the same in the others okay now I will add some like backup lines to fit with this uh, curved edge. I'm gonna hit the A key and stop at any of these lines here and you're gonna get it fitted it's gonna insert line for you. Press here and one here one here okay now select this vertice and click to edge and same as the others this vertices to edge okay now you get the uh, lines that you just added if you also just rotate the orientation you're gonna see it's like stick with the lines we'll add some backup curve here again hold the A key and stop at this center and press and it's just gonna create another one I'm just going to up with the edge a little and do the same thing select this vertice and uh, make it to edge this vertice and to edge now you have the full shape constrained now if I just convert to sub D it's not gonna be like uh, fitted exactly you're gonna see here it's creating big radiuses and not uh, fit exactly with the shape so here these corners are just uh, hard edges so I'm gonna click on the four points here and I'm gonna cl click on hard edge now it's all the points are hard now it's just hard edge to the every point I'm gonna select also the edges here as you see and click in to edge as you see like this and do the same here as you see it's just not uh, constrain it we just constrain it the vertices so let's constrain the lines like this and click to edge do the same here to edge now you have full constrained lines with the 
curve that you modeled on the 3D sketches at SolidWorks. Uh, what's nice and cool in here you have the the same sketches that you draw and you can just edit it uh, whatever you want I mean I can do this I can just down with it and it's just taking the shape automatically okay you can also add some backup uh, lines at every place here as you see now I can just down with it a little get down and like that okay you can move the points wherever you want it like this wouldn't you just hit convert now the surface created exactly fitted on the 3d sketches that you modeled as you see now let's move in further and create some uh, other details let's subdivide from here right click and collect subdivide and from this point I can easily selecting uh, multi faces and just create some details let's use decreasing in here like this Let's make it 55. It's gonna be hard creasing. And get the control mesh. And you can modify the shape. Let's crease this one also. As you see in the sub D mesh, it's like curvy, having a bump here. You can crease it easily. Let's type 34 and click on this arrow to apply. It's that easy. Okay. You can create more details. Let's hold the A key and press head down. Like that. I can also creasing this corners to get more uh, hard edge at the corners let's type like 15 press on the arrow and you get more hard edge okay can move it and modify on it we can harden this edge too Let's type 12, hold the arrow, press, and it's a blank. Okay, all of these details, it's inside the 3D curves that we've drawn. So if I just draw it, this curves with dimension, I will be having the exact same dimensions, and I have full control on the enter of the surface. It's gonna be the same dimensions but with full control in the inside of it. Okay. You can just enter with this like that. Thirty-three creasing. Let's see the results. Okay, let's 
turn on the HDRI to see it. Now with the surface reflection you can easily see if it's uh, nice uh, or if you just need to modify in it. I will just move this line here like this. Okay now I can just grease this edge Okay, just it's all selected. Now I'm gonna crease it like 74. Let's make hard creasing and press at the bottom to apply. Okay, now move it a little bit up. You can use this arrow to move move it like that to create like an edge. Okay. We can uh, merge these lines together. Press this point at first one, so I will tell it to move this one and this one to this point that I selected first. Select it first and the other ones. Right click and click merge. Now it's merged like that. Okay. Now this is in a hard uh, vertice. Let's move this a little bit here. Okay. This one needs to be get inside. This one a little bit here. Let's do the, the same thing here. Merge the three points here. Click merge. Click on this vertice and hard edge. And you can Crease this line a little so it's gonna give you like more creased edge. Like that. You can crease this also. 22, press or Y. Let's do the same thing here. This one with this one, merge. Let's get the top view. It's need to be inside. Hard this point. Move this a little here. It's here having like this edge look. So I'm gonna move the full shape. Uh, like turn it exactly the same. So I will select this. Uh, four edges and just move it to back a little. You can turn on the control uh, mesh to have an, uh, more ability to uh, look and the shape and know what exactly uh, have to move. Okay, like that and just like that. Let's move this a little back. Let's move this and that, this one. Move it to the left a little. Okay. like this so now it's exactly fitted inside the curves and have uh, the details that I added okay you have the ability to make a lot of details every time I can also uh, using high details from here just hold the A key here press and drag just scale it a little and hold the A key again and drag and you have 
something like this okay you have here a very smooth corners so I can just easily use more creased corners select these corners just use like 25 or 24 press apply and you have more crazy edges okay let's select this and make them high a little okay let's just use this one to control the flutter and just down a little from here In this case, actually, you can just connect this uh, point with any point inside, so it just uh, give it a nice smooth, not just a point lived here, like that. Okay. Now let's just convert and see the results. Okay, let's add a material, any material, as you see, now it's exactly inside the four edges I draw here the three D sketches and it's inside the shape. Okay. Now actually this is gonna be really hard with the surfacing tools, the regular surfacing out of out the solid works. Uh, it's not gonna work with a so complex shape like that. Okay.